Hello, uh, my name is Charlie Graham. Uh, I work at Dunray and uh, we've been looking at doing some planning for our decommissioning of some of our facilities. Planning um, is, is can be quite challenging because our facilities being nuclear uh, have very high radiation. Uh, they're not accessible. Uh, people haven't been into some of the areas for, for 20 or 30 years since they've become operational. And uh, it's useful to know uh, the conditions that are inside uh, these active areas so that we can plan more accurately how we should uh, decommission them, dismantle them, take them to pieces. React Engineering are an SME based in Cumbria, working in the, the nuclear sector. Um, React is part of the NDL consortium, have been working for our client, Dunray, in developing a decommissioning approach for the evaporator cell at the Dunray site. In talking with Createc, we identified an opportunity to use the Spot robot from Boston Dynamics to, to carry out a survey um, in the cell, get the information that's really critical to, to what we were doing. In, in preparing for the survey, we, we had quite a, quite a lot of work to do to, to understand how we were going to get the, the robot in there, what was needed to make that happen and plant, get access into the cell um, and, and make, the, make the survey happen. Craytech are an SME, we're based in Cumbria. We are a key partner to technology providers and we were brought into this Doomray project to conduct the UK's most complex mobile robotic deployment. The complexity of this project was born about because of the congestion of the environment and because it's built upon multiple levels. So when we sent the robot into the environment, because of the radiation present in there and the potential of contamination, we couldn't be anywhere near operating the robots. We had to view the scene, the environment, from the robot cameras itself. So we're operating it beyond visual line of sight. Craytech deployed two Boston Dynamic quadruped robots. We deployed these in our contamination protection suits. What that meant was that we could deploy the robots into the highly contaminated cell. We could then bring those robots out. They would then be cleaned for use elsewhere to be deployed further. Craytech are best placed to capture this data uh, because of the technology that we've developed and also because of the experience that we've gained from other highly complex nuclear deployments. Our Envisage Explore technology um, captures omnidirectional radiation information as the robot is passing through the facility, so that is incredibly rapid data collection to such incredibly high resolutions. So we arrived on site uh, Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. and we had to be off site by midday on Friday. And during that time period, we had to produce a full laser scan of the entirety of the facility. We also had to make sure that we captured approximately 12 physical samples within there as well. And then finally, we had to do a full radiation characterization of the facility. If a human had to capture this type of data, first of all, they wouldn't be able to enter into that environment in the first place. But secondly, it would be almost impossible to capture that amount of data by human deployment. The robot was able to uh, traverse not only platforms, but also uh, to go up and down stairs. Uh, and that was really a, a big game changer for us because um, it allowed us to survey all four of the floor levels that we have in, in this facility just through one access point and, and also the range of equipment we could deploy at the same time was a, a great advantage to us. Uh, we gained a lot of very useful information out of it and has informed our plans going forward and actually even saved uh, time and money and risk with the plans which was quite significant. So very successful and very pleased uh, with what we were able to achieve.